With the automaker planning to venture into new territory on the EV forefront, Toyota has rocked the EV world by partnering up with the most successful Chinese automaker BYD to do so. While the news is groundbreaking, the question is, was this the right move for Toyota? And is Toyota really giving up on establishing its own production lines with this partnership? More importantly, can these two auto giants take on Tesla after joining hands? Let's find out. The two companies announced their partnership for the first time on November 7, 2019. According to the agreement, both BYD company LTD and Toyota Motor Corporation will be joining hands for the research and development of battery electric vehicles. To achieve these goals, both manufacturers will be establishing a joint venture company, BYD Toyota EV Technology. Of course, the question that many people are asking here is what does Toyota exactly gain from this partnership with BYD? Well, to answer that question, one needs to take a look at BYD's history. Founded in 1995, BYD's rise to the top was not without its struggles, but over the years, the Chinese manufacturer has overcome many hurdles and has established itself as a leading company in the automotive industry. BYD's current position in the business is a striking contrast to its earlier days when it was met with ridicule and skepticism from its peers. Even Musk didn't expect much from BYD's battery-powered vehicles. Still, the manufacturer went forward with its plans and put its battery-powered vehicles on the road in 2008, three years before Tesla. It was a risky bet at the time, but it's paid off over the years. Today, BYD is completely dominating the Chinese market, knocking competition like Tesla completely out of the park. The F3DM was the first of the company's battery-powered vehicles. Even though it was not a raging success in the market, it did lay down a foundation for BYD's future success. BYD's commitment to battery-powered vehicles is evident from the fact that even though they had a lackluster launch in 2008, they stuck through and bagged big by coming out with BYD Tang, a plug-in hybrid SUV later in the years of 2015. With a range of 80 miles, the Tang was a huge success in the local market, it sold 30,000 units in its first year, after which BYD continued to expand its catalog with E6 Electric Taxi and BYD Kin. What's interesting is that BYD partnered up with other automakers during its rise to the top, including the lights of Toyota. It's worth pointing out that most of BYD's successes today is because of the company's state-of-the-art lithium prostate battery, which is what the Japanese automaker is interested in. Last year, Toyota announced that it's working with BYD on a new sedan that will feature the world's famous BYD Blade battery. The cutting-edge technology is known for its slim and sleek look. More importantly, these batteries work similarly to Tesla's Chinese-built Model 3. That said, Toyota is already reaping the benefits of partnering up with BYD, more specifically in the company's battery. The automotive manufacturer recently rolled off the BZ3 off the production line in China. The EV is the result of the joint partnership between Toyota and BYD and features the well-renowned battery under the hood. The BZ3 has been in the works since 2020, and now that it's finally here, it's been doing well in the pre-launch phase. Deliveries will begin sometime during quarter 1, 2023, with a price tag of 189,900 RMB to 219,800 RMB. While Toyota is offering the first 5,000 customers a chance to claim a subsidy of $725 in the subsidy when the car hits the road for booking it online for $290 before May 31st. On its first day in the market, the all-electric SUV secured 5,000 orders on the market, which comes to a surprise to no one considering that the BZ3 features the best of the best. The EV is based off Toyota's TNGA platform and BYD's lithium-ion LFP blade battery and electric control system. With a 49.9 kilowatt battery pack, the China-only EV reports some impressive charging times. Premium models offer even quicker charging times with the bigger 65.3 kilowatt battery pack. The EV reports a maximum charging speed of 90 kilowatts. It can go from 30 to 80 percent in an impressive 27 minutes. Its features exactly like these makes BZ3 an affordable and practical option for Chinese drivers looking to make the switch to EVs. The range on the new EV is not bad either, with the BZ3 going as far as 517 kilometers on a single charge. It's certainly an improvement from Toyota's previous models, and it's all thanks to the two rear-mounted single motor options, with the higher output motor producing 180 kilowatt and the lower output motor processing 135 kilowatt. What's more, the BZ3 is equally impressive style-wise. Toyota has experimented with new designs under its new joint venture. A key difference between the new sedan and Toyota's regular lineup of EVs is a lower center of gravity. 
Additionally, the new EV has 0.218 low coefficient of drag, the BZ3 shows off an exciting sleek and modern design, and it's certainly a breath of fresh air compared to Toyota's usual lineup. The EV's rear also shows off a bold design, with specifically shaped lights on the right and left sides. What's more, the BZ3 features an upgraded and improved interior, with the automaker's largest and most advanced 12.8-inch mega navigation system. It's gotten a minimalistic makeover, which is not what consumers usually see from the automaker. Other than that, the BZ3 will be offered in three different variants, the Elite Pro, the Long Range Pro, and the Long Range Premium models. The vehicle's range is also worth mentioning considering it's not disappointing either. While the BZ3 has been recently warmly in the market so far, it's up to some fierce competition. The all-electric vehicle it will be going directly against Tesla Model 3 as a favorite in the China market. However, it's worth pointing out that the BZ3 is only the second sedan in the BZ series. While the BZ4X is BZ3's predecessor, the sedan's launch was nothing but lackluster. That said, it was not the result of Toyota's BYD partnership either. In the fact, the multinational automaker collaborated with Panasonic Holdings and contemporary MRX technology and features battery sex by Prime Planet Energy and Solutions, a joint venture between the three. Compared to the BZ4X, the BZ3 did receive some improvements. For starters, the BZ3 shows off sharp and angular styling with a redesign on the lower front bumper. There's also a two-tone color combination on the side, giving the BZ3 that premium look. More importantly, the location of the charging point has changed from the previous front wing to the new rear three-quarter panel. That said, the technical details between the two remain the same more or less. It's clear that Toyota is interested in expanding its EV division, and is looking to source batteries from various partnerships to save up on developmental costs. However, that shouldn't be taken in any way as Toyota not being willing to invest in its own battery development. The company has announced plans about investing $13.5 billion towards the development of the batteries. The money will go towards the development of the battery plant by Plant Energy and Solutions, as well as towards Toyota's own plants in Japan. But before Toyota is able to run its own production lines, it will be leveraging its partnerships with BYD and CATL. Interestingly, the BZ3 itself is manufactured at the FA Toyota New Energy Plant, a joint venture between both Toyota and BYD. That said, many are hopeful that with these steps, the Japanese automaker will be able to start a new chapter in its EV journey. So far, that journey has been played by underwhelming launches and vehicle callbacks. However, a lot is expected from the new CEO, Koji Sato. Compared to its predecessor, Aiko Toyota, Koji Sato seems to be more keen about embracing the switch to EVs. He's already working on introducing a three-row SUV lineup in the US after the launch of the China-only BZ3. These will all count towards the company's target to release 10 new EV models by 2026. However, right now, all eyes remain on BZ3. Will it be one for the history books for Toyota, or will it be another learning lesson? And more importantly, how fruitful would the company's partnership with BYD prove to be? Until next time.